Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm talking Teams and OneNote. I'm going to show you how to make use of the assignment section in Teams in order to push out work for your OneNote page. So the benefit of doing this is we're kind of just combining the best of both worlds. If you are integrating Teams and OneNote, it's one of the easiest and, and best ways to push work out to the students as you get the added benefits of notifying the students that you've created work for them to complete. You can set a due date and it's obviously they can see your time and a date that it is due. They can hand it in, you can see the work and you can review it and give it a grade and hand it back to them very efficiently. So they do work very, very well together. So I'm gonna to quickly go through setting up an assignment in Teams using the uh, a OneNote page. So I now have, Clicked on the assignment section up the top here in my made up year nine class, and it breaks it up into different categories, drafts assigned and marked. Because it's a new class, I don't have much there. When you hit create, you're gonna get assignment, quiz, and from existing. When you create a new assignment, most of the time you're gonna hit assignment, which is just to create one from scratch. A quiz is to integrate a form that you can send out as an assignment, but you do have to pre-create that form. And from existing is to use a previous assignment that you may have used. We may have set up a rubric or some added some files or things already. You can make use and just a bit of a time saver that one. I'm going to hit create new assignment. That's going to open up this window, but I've already created one in the drafts. That's going to look exactly the same. I've just filled in a little bit of the information already. So I'm going to create a worksheet that I'm going to send out to the kids. I'm going to choose a worksheet and then I'm going to name it. I've added a tag called worksheet. You don't have to add a tag. You could use summative, formative, worksheet, flip lessons, whatever the category of it is that you're doing. I'm hoping eventually Microsoft will allow you to, in the grade book, separate assignments by a specific tag. So I'm kind of preemptively tagging every assignment, but by no means do you need to do it. When we go to add resources, this is where we're going to integrate our OneNote. So you can see my options here, OneDrive, Class Notebook, Link, New File. I'm going to click on Class Notebook and I'm going to go through the process of choosing the page where I want to get it from and where I want to send it to. So I'm going to go to my content library because that's where all my information is. Um, you're working from this marketing unit and I'm going to choose a page that I want to send out to the students. So I might, let's go with a random lucky dip. Let's go with a SWOT analysis. Okay, so I'm going to attach that worksheet and now it wants to know where I want to send it to. So this is the student sections, as you can see and I'm gonna send it to the student's marketing folder. So when we create this assignment, it does actually distribute the page for you in OneNote. So it kind of takes that step out of you having to do it. And the kids can access it both in Teams or in OneNote. You try to encourage the kids to stay in Teams because they can make use of the hand-in feature and things like that. Um, and they don't even really have to go anywhere, but they can also access in OneNote and you can also review it both in OneNote and in Teams. Um, so I'm gonna call this now that I know what I'm doing. I'm going to call it SWOT analysis. And I don't, I can do instructions. I usually don't. Uh, points, I usually go with a five to one scale or an A to E scale, five being an A and one being an E. You can add rubrics for just worksheets and things. I generally keep it quite simple and I don't add a rubric. I'm only going to use one class, but I could send it to multiple classes if I want to. I could choose whether I want to send to lots of students or individual students. I find the best way is to send it to everyone and then go and modify a specific student's work if it is for differentiation rather than creating them an individual assignment. Got my due date. Um, another cool feature is integrating um, the schedule to assign in the future. So if I want to, if I have some time on my hand, I can set up three or four assignments for the week and they'll just periodically appear at the time that I choose it. So if I want this assignment to pop up on Thursday at nine o'clock, I can schedule it. And tomorrow at nine o'clock, that's when that assignment's gonna pop up. You can also choose between a due date and a close date. I generally just stick with a due date. The close date will mean that it will automatically hand in, it will, it will lock for the students. They can't edit it afterwards. So I'm just gonna hit done. I don't need to turn it in, but if I do, I could have turned that on and that will run a plagiarism checker through that student's work. I'm now gonna assign that. And as I said, that also distributes that page in OneNote. So in about 30 seconds, I'm going to get a notification. The students are going to get a notification that that assignment has been created. And I'm very much integrating something that I've already set up and created in OneNote. Yep, there's my notification. And then once I click on that, I'll be able to see my students. And I can very quickly review the students' work here. 
just as I was using that review student work in OneNote as I showed in a previous video. So I can see whether they've handed in, viewed it or handed it in. And if I click on the student, that's gonna bring up their worksheet. I can very quickly review and have a look at the student's work. I can give them some feedback, give it a grade and send it straight back to them. And then I can just click through each student and I can just very quickly return work straight back to the kids. All right, so very quickly, there's a video on how to integrate your OneNote pages into Teams assignment. It's a really awesome, awesome feature. And once you grade them, it will populate your grade book as well, which is another cool feature that they brought in this year. So definitely make use of the combination of Teams and OneNotes and assignments. I use it for everything. Thanks for watching.